All right, people, good Thursday morning. You guys know what time it is. You guys know what it's all about. We've got some past coverage numbers to look at, and it's pretty good for the most part, right? You would expect that in a game where the opposing quarterback only has about 180 passing yards, right? Now, the main reason why that was was because the Rams ran the ball a lot and ran the ball successfully, but the coverage was pretty good. The numbers bear out well, and with one exception, I think that you come away from this game feeling pretty satisfied with the way everybody covered. And this is an area where it seems like the team is mostly, mostly improving in recent times. So let's uh, dive in. Let's take a look at some of these numbers, starting with really good news. Although in this context, again, it's not surprising, Jordan Brooks. So Jordan Brooks was targeted, I believe, three times in this game. He allowed one completion, and that one completion went for all of 13 yards. So Jordan Brooks did not get picked on in coverage at all. In fact, they barely looked his way. Again, some of that is because Wolford only threw the ball like 26 times, and he didn't play particularly well. I don't think he played terrible, but you will definitely take that from Jordan Brooks. And we are now 12 games into the season, and you can see that while it's still not great, Six touchdowns allowed in coverage sucks. This is still a problem. It's not the massive problem that it was last year when he gave up. I think some sites gave him over, over a thousand yards allowed in coverage. Right now, he's on pace to allow significantly less. Probably going to end up at this rate around 800. Hopefully, he doesn't have that one big disaster game where he gives up like 150. But the way things are going, he might end up around 800. And that's... That's better, right? It's certainly better. I don't know if it's good. He's still allowing six touchdowns. He's still allowing this high completion percentage, but it's pretty good compared to last year at least. So not much there. And Cody Barton, he got targeted a couple times. He gave up a couple completions, but only 14 total yards. And I believe he was targeted a grand total of twice, actually. So just to uh, get the exact numbers there, he was targeted twice, gave up two completions for 14 yards. And he had the interception to seal it at the end of the day. Now, I don't think he was really being targeted on that interception. I think John Wolford underthrew his guy by like 25 yards and Barton was just there. But regardless, he gets the pick. And his coverage numbers, look, the completion percentage sucks. But only 280 yards on 36 targets. I can live with that. And the two interceptions are nice. And they've been... I don't want to call this last interception important, but the one against Tampa Bay definitely was. So we're seeing some good things with Cody Barton. The uh, the other stuff, the run defense, yeah, not, not great there, obviously, and that continues to be a big problem. But just talking about the coverage, Barton is, I would say, pulling his weight in a general sense. Uh, the rest of the linebackers, the only guy who got targeted at all to my eye was Nwosu. He got targeted once, allowed one completion for nine yards, and nobody else in the linebacker category got targeted once, uh, which obviously that's good. That's putting players in the best possible position. You don't want guys like Mafe in coverage that much. Probably just not a good idea. He's too green. Let him focus on the stuff that he needs to be spending most of his time focusing on. Now, I know in this game, Mafia only played 10 snaps, so that kind of goes without saying, but still, nothing else here, so let's move on to the cornerbacks. And more good news, Tariq Woolen got targeted four times in this game, came away with two passes deflected and a pick. He allowed one completion for 23 yards, I think it was Van Jefferson, but his metrics in coverage are still beautiful. He baited Wolford to throw that pass that got picked off. He, tried, he almost baited him again later in the game. So he is just miles and miles ahead of where he was supposed to be right now. He's allowed about 300 yards in coverage through 12 games. So you're looking at an average of about 25, 26 yards in allowed in coverage per game. I know he's picked up some flags, but he, has, he actually hasn't picked up a flag in a while. So... Really good stuff. QB rating allowed is down to about 55. And it's just really incredible what we're getting here. So that's Woolen. Michael Jackson, he might be the one guy who you could really point to and say he had a hard time on Sunday in coverage. 
He had uh, three targets for three completions, and I believe it was 60 yards. Yes, 60 yards, and Wolford only had like 180. So Michael Jackson was responsible for about a third of his passing yards. Not terrible, but in a game like that, it sticks out like a sore thumb. QB rating allowed up to 78. You look at these numbers, you still say you're doing pretty well for yourself, but looking at a game like what he just did against the Rams, you wonder, is this where things start to go down? Is this where things start to fall off? And do we look at Trey Brown to replace Jackson? Trey Brown didn't play a ton, but he did get targeted three times, gave up three completions for 39 yards, so... We're not off to the best of starts, but that's to be expected. I think he's coming back from an injury, a major injury. And at the end of the day, I think he has a higher upside than Jackson. By the way, these numbers don't even account for the penalty Trey Brown picked up. But again, I just see more upside with Trey Brown. Okay, Kobe Bryant, he got uh, targeted just a few times. Three targets. I believe it was just two completions. No really big plays. Um, Looks like 17 yards. He had the one PBU, and his QB rating allowed is down to about 114.9. Um, <clears throat> pretty good game from Kobe. Again, he just didn't get looked at that much. Um, Wolford didn't really pick on any one specific player a lot. If he did pick on anybody, it would be Jackson. But uh, we're, uh, excuse me, we are still talking about a effective, efficient game. And Kobe, much like uh, Brooks. Now not on pace to give up a 1,000 coverage yards on the year. He's still below 600, and we've only got five games left. So this was trending in a bad direction at one point, but now it's looking a lot better. I still look at him and I go, I don't know if this is where he belongs for the rest of his career, but he's playing all right. He's doing his thing. He's doing okay. Uh, Ryan Neal did get targeted, I believe, yeah, three times. He allowed one completion, and it went for all of three yards. So... Ryan Neal still holding up very well in coverage. No problems there. Um, He's having a stellar all-around year in coverage, despite giving up those two touchdowns against the Lions, by the way. So shout-out to him. We need it. And that brings us to Quandre Diggs, who did not get targeted, which makes sense, right? Like, John Wolford's got a little bit of a noodle arm. He's not going to be attacking deep down the field where Quandre's probably going to be. So that's just kind of obvious. Josh Jones did not play. He's on IR now, so not going to have to see him no more. And Tease Tabor, who did play a little bit at safety, got targeted once, did not allow the completion. And yeah, that's all there is to say about that. So that is your pass coverage Thursday. Again, pretty solid game from the pass coverage. The only guy who got picked on a little bit might have been Jackson, I think. And it wasn't that bad. Maybe if you take a look at the level of play the Rams offense has been at for most of the year, it's pretty bad. But it's still not necessarily the thing that you look at that you go, this is what is costing us games. So good all-around effort. Uh, There are obviously going to be many passing attacks we play that will pose a much bigger challenge than the Rams with all these injuries, but pretty good stuff here. I'm happy with it. I can dig it. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Go Hawks. Another video coming later today.